And one more move we got to talk about here this morning, and that is Roku. The shares are plunging by 18.5% after the company offered a weak outlook for the fourth quarter. A lot of this has to do with what's going on with ad sales, right? We have talked about the ad sales effect on so many different companies. Do you remember when Roku was pivoting into ads and it was seen as a benefit, right? It was right. seen as a diversification of its revenue and it was right yes, and it was seen initially as fairly positive. And now that has proved the blessing has proved to be a, proven to be a curse here because now it's vulnerable in a tough ad market. And that's among the other things um, that was disappointing in this account in, in this quarter. The company did see a boost in active customer accounts. They were up by 16 percent to just over 65 million. But if, you know, if you're forecasting that your revenue is not going to be up to snuff, that's a problem. I, I do have to say, I, you know, I followed Roku for a while. I, I do think there's an element of, of this team over there being a little bit out to lunch hmm. and not understanding what is happening within their com own company and what is happening in the own market. You know, I have another earnings call last night where they're uh, pounding the table on every home, home owning a streaming stick and everybody's going to be streaming. Sure, that was the thesis two or three years ago. Right now, you're a company that just came out and got into an adjusted operating profit loss of $135 million in what is supposed to be usually your best quarter, the holiday season. And if they do come out and deliver that result, they will have, they, that would be in addition to losing $35 million in the third quarter and $12 million in the second quarter. Not a good quarter. Pivotal Research, uh, which actually... They had a long time sell rating on the stock. They upgraded a few weeks ago. They're back out now this morning with more negative comments hmm. on Roku, dinging them for just hiring too many people into this really uh, what appears to be a major slowdown in ad sales. Makes you question, especially as, and, and I've enjoyed conversations over the years with Anthony Wood, the CEO and founder of Roku. And uh, again, another story of another founder CEO that has been there well after their IPO and continued to try and navigate this company through a now more competitive environment. You think about the new ad supported tiers that have just come on the market, whether that's Netflix, whether that's Disney as well, moving towards some of the ability to make sure that that ad dollar or that pool of ad dollars, that they're not missing out on that, especially as they're ramping up the number of subscribers that are flocking to their own programs and their own services as well. And so for Roku, now it's staving off the competition, but also at the same time, how do you kind of continue to maintain the number of different partnerships on the hardware front that you've been able to take on over time, which was one of the smartest moves that they could have made too, making sure that they were embedded in hardware before people even purchased it. You mentioned Anthony. Look, I mean, he still owns a lot of the stock, yeah. and I, I think he has some soul searching to do. Now, keep in mind, after they reported a very disappointing second quarter, a couple weeks later, rumors uh, surfaced that uh, there may be some interest in, in Netflix buying Roku. I wouldn't be surprised if those pick back up. Uh, I, he has to figure out should this brand, should this company be under someone else's roof mm -hmm. to drive the scale they need? I thought Apple should have bought him back in 2018, actually. Mm -hmm. But. Well, unfortunately for Roku, <laughs> they didn't. No. Maybe not. I mean, maybe fortunately for Apple. I don't know.